Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of my podcast. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode that I put out. As always, if you have any cases that you want to be discussed, you can put them down in the comments below and I'll discuss them. And today we will be discussing some of the weirdest and most unusual deaths in history. I will be ranking the deaths in terms of the ridiculousness. Hans Schneidinger. I hate to say it, but this was one of the ones that actually cracked me up because it was like, this is ridiculous. Hans Schneidinger was killed by his own beard in 1567. Hans was born in Brno, Austria in 1508 and later became the mayor of that town. So he was well known for being a good guy and a good mayor and people liked him, but he was even well known for his 137 centimeter beard. So Google did the math and 137 centimeters is about four feet and a half. So you know people knew him for being able to drag his beard around and like always having it out and i guess people liked it i don't know anyways so he was famous for being able to also roll up his beard and place it in his pocket when he didn't want to drag it on the ground and even when depicted in statues his beard is always super long sometime in the evening hours of september 1567 the town of brono experienced a severe fire this fire displaced everyone and had everyone panicking because it was so severe and as a result everyone was obviously running away Hans was one of those people running away, and remember I told you guys earlier that he used to roll up his beard and put it in his pocket when he didn't want it to, like, drag on the ground? Well, as he was running down a flight of steps, his beard flew out of his pocket, and he tripped on it and fell down the entire rest of the flight, which resulted in him breaking his neck and dying. Since Hans was mayor at the time and everyone loved him and he was so well-liked, there was a monument built of him on the St. Stephen's Church wall. His beard was also cut off and preserved in chemicals, which is now on display in the local history museum. Chrysippus. This one also was funny to me because it was like the way he died, the reason he was laughing wasn't even funny. Chrysippus was a Greek philosopher born in Mersa in Turkey from 3rd century BC. He was best known for being a philosopher and founding propositional logic. He died in the year 206 at 73 from laughter. So this story, oh my god, when I read this story, I was like, there's no way. So it's believed that he died from laughter after watching a random donkey eat figs off of his fig tree. How he found that funny is super debatable because I don't think that's funny at all, but whatever. Apparently, he was laughing so continuously and so hard that he lost consciousness as a result and later died. I'm not even going to say that he deserves to die because no one deserves to die, but like, there's no way that I'm going to die from laughing at something that stupid. George Plantagenet. George Plantagenet, first Duke of Clarence, was born in 1449 in Dublin, Ireland. George was best known for obviously being the first Duke of Clarence, but he was also best known for the way he chose to die. After finding out that he was going to be killed anyways, George chose to die by drowning in a barrel of Malmsey wine, which was supposed to be his fate. George was said to be held down in the bucket of wine while he slowly drowned and eventually died. He was killed in February 1478. Basil Brown. Basil Brown was born sometime in January 1888 in the United Kingdom and was a British archaeologist and astronomer. He was best known for excavating a 7th century Anglo-Saxon ship in 1939. Basil died in 1974 after developing a carrot juice addiction. On average, he would consume a gallon of carrot juice every day while on a health journey. Carrot juice contains lots of vitamins, but it especially contains a lot of vitamin A. Too much vitamin A in the body can cause organs to begin to shut down, especially organs like the liver. It was said that in a span of 10 days, Basil was consuming 70 million units of vitamin A, which is way too much for your body to process. Ultimately, Basil died in 1974 because he shot his liver with vitamin A. It was said that prior to Basil's death, his skin turned bright yellow. Adolf Frederick of Sweden Adolf Frederick of Sweden was born in May 1710 in Stockholm, Sweden. He was best known for his reign as king in the 1700s. He was also best known for being the king that ate himself to death. In 1771, he died by consuming an excessive amount of food. Specifically, most of the foods that were eaten were seafood like caviar and lobster, but he also ate 14 servings of a Swedish dish called semla. Tycho Brahe. Tycho Brahe was a Danish astronomer born in Sweden in December 1546. He was best known for being an astronomer, but also well known around town for being a very polite and well-mannered man. In 1601, he died while at a banquet in Prague, Czech Republic. At first, it was thought that he died after being poisoned at the party. It was later revealed that he died after his bladder exploded. Tico had to use the bathroom so bad, but he didn't get up from the table because he thought that it would be impolite to leave. He was so well-mannered that even after being excused to leave the table, he still wouldn't go. As a result, his bladder exploded. James Betts Not much is known about James Betts in his case. I couldn't find a birth date or a death date, but I did find out just enough. In 1667, 
James was killed by being trapped in a closet. James was locked in the closet by his girlfriend, Elizabeth. Elizabeth's father was John Spencer, who was headmaster at Corpus Christi College at the time. The two were in Elizabeth's dorm at the time, and Elizabeth was scared that she would be caught by her father with James in her room. So she pushed James in the closet when she thought that her father was coming. As a result, James died of asphyxiation inside of Elizabeth's closet. As a result of the death of James, Elizabeth felt very guilty and thought that it was her fault why he died. So she wound up committing suicide a little bit after. Two are still rumored to haunt Corpus Christi University university to this day. The Unknown Man. In 2011, an unknown man in California was killed while attending an illegal rooster fight. The rooster that killed the man had a knife attached to his ankle, which was common practice. It was reported that while fighting, the rooster jumped up on the man and slashed him in his calf accidentally. A year earlier, in 2010, the same incident happened to a man in India. Lee Salp. Lee Salp was born in 1977 in South Korea. He was best known as a competitive gamer. In 2005, Lee died from injuries he sustained in a car crash. It was reported that Lee played StarCraft in World of Warcraft for 50 hours straight before his death and that he had an extreme gaming addiction. Lee died after crashing into an internet cafe where he previously worked. In 1933, Frank Hayes died while racing his horse. It was said that Frank reportedly had a heart attack. Frank's horse, Sweet Kiss, later finished the race, making Frank the first dead man to ever win a horse race. In 1985, a man died in a New Orleans swimming pool. The pool was hosting a party that was thrown by 200 lifeguards. Not much is known about how the man wasn't seen the entire time with 200 lifeguards at that being there at the pool. Either way, the man wound up drowning. The most ironic thing about the story is that the man wound up drowning with 200 lifeguards on scene. The second most ironic is that the party was actually thrown to celebrate no one drowning that lifeguard season. That's it for this list and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next video that I will be putting out for this podcast, I will be discussing some of the conspiracy theories surrounding Princess Diana's death. I'll be posting these podcasts more consistently on my channel since I usually only post videos on my YouTube channel of certain things that I do and like little vlogs. So look out for these videos and I hope you guys enjoyed.